my interest in engineering started from young days when I found I was good at mathematics, good at designing and building things. So that led to a profession in engineering. But actually it got coupled with my interest in medicine. And so I was struggling very hard. This was like 30, 40 years ago. How do I combine both? And that's how I got into the field of biomedical engineering. Well, I've done many interesting things. Uh, one of the first examples was my own PhD, where I built a device to monitor heart and give an indication if you're having a heart attack or some way your heart is uh, damaged. And I built a microprocessor-based heart monitor. At that time, microprocessor was just new, very, very new. And so it was very exciting to build a device that people can use to give them a warning of heart attack. You know, 20 years later, uh, we worked on an implantable device so that that can be used for monitoring heart or giving electric shock to the heart to, if it stops. And fast forward 10 years now, and we are building similar implantable device for the brain and for the nerves. For example, when somebody's nerves get damaged, an implantable device will restore function of their limbs. So there are many interesting things. They're all tied with the idea that you can combine some of the engineering like medical electronics with body. On the other end, building an implantable device, our program that we have started for restoring limb function for amputees or people who have lost, had nerve injury. I think that will take five years of R&D and then after that, transfer to commercialization. Well, my advice would be to certainly follow your passion and interest. I'm sure everyone hears that. I also suggest that you have to maximize your talent or your potential. You know, some people are really good at mathematics or others are good at building. Or some have a lot of curiosity uh, about how things, you know, what is the mechanism. But also sometimes, you know, students, young scientists, engineers are also very entrepreneurial. They want to take an idea to practice. I think you have to also learn to work in a team because a lot of these projects require very collaborative effort. And not only the engineering part of it, but then to take it to practice requires another set of skills. Maybe I should add one more. You know, it all comes with tremendous effort and fire. You know, you have to put in a, a lot of intense effort and passion or fire behind it to get things done, passion or fire. I'm very passionate to design and develop implantable systems using engineering tools and I have a great feel that it will contribute a lot to the idea of neuroprocesses in future. Hi, my name is Kenan. I'm excited about engineering because every day the work I'm doing is going to help mankind in the area of medicine. Take for example, this microchip. It used to be this big, but I have now shrunk it to this small little size here and it can be used for implantation on humans directly on the, on the brain, on the nerves of humans and it can be used to record signals that will help doctors one day find a good treatment for patients. And I'm a research fellow here in Synapse. I came here to Singapore uh, from Berlin. I was working there as a neurosurgeon in the Charité Hospital and I dis decided to take the step and working together with a team of engineers in order to design a prosthetic device for the treatment of peripheral nerve injuries. It's important for me to work in collaboration with them in order to participate in the design of the final solution that we will bring to the patient. So for example, in the future, what we will aim is to develop a fully implantable system that we will implant next to the nerve. So that's a very challenging uh, project. And I hope that in the few years we will be able to um, fulfill this dream. Well, I think when I wake up in the morning, I think the first thing is what I'm doing is great. It's so compelling, it's cutting edge, it's interesting, uh, you know, that gets you started. Uh, you, there's a sort of day-to-day -day practical side of things to make sure that we're doing a good job. You get up in the morning and say, I want to get it done now rather than later.